Hi guys and welcome to my channel. It's Hila here, Saturday Night Stitch, and thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope that you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Uh, today's post, we're going to cover more about sewing for kids and kids sewing. Because as you know, I have five children and I love to sew for the children as well. And I've accumulated quite a little bit of experience when it comes to sewing for kids. And today I wanted to expand a little bit more on October design because in the video where I showed you the vlog where I made all those clothes for my girls in a rush, um, there were some questions that were uh, some people asked about and I hadn't shared that because sometimes when you've been using something for so long, you kind of just take certain things for granted. So I'm just going to clear up a little bit more about October design and I'm going to share with you my collection of kids sewing pattern magazines that i have because i've got quite a few different ones and i'm going to show you some of the things that i have sewn from october design over the years and i love those things so much that even though my kids have grown out of them i've kept back some of the very best in my keepsake box in the hope <laughs> that when um when i do have grandkids that my kids and my you know my kids partners will allow me to dress their kids in things that i had made for them and now for the first part of the video i am going to talk about otobri otobri design is a finnish magazine and they do an english translation a french translation um a german translation and i think i think they do a polish one as well so um, it's sold in several different geographic locations. It's actually called Autobre Design Kids, although in the sewing community, it just tends to be referred to as Autobre, which can be quite confusing when you're searching for it on eBay, because when I first started looking for it on eBay, I kept on type, uh, typing in Autobre. But of course, Autobre is also, I think it's Spanish or Portuguese for October as well so it was bringing up these vintage magazines that had otobri on them but you have to type in otobri design and that's when you'll get up the actual sewing magazine itself so it's got two covers one of them is an upside down one so you kind of have to figure out which one is the right side up for this one is uh, this one they produce them four times a year so they do a spring a summer an autumn and a winter um, issue with a good range of patterns they tend to focus on more jersey type knit fabric type patterns than the woven ones and that's because you know kids they have growth spurts and and they grow very quickly and if they're wearing jersey they can stay in it for a little bit longer at least i imagine that's the practical reason behind why they do seem to have a lot more uh, jersey patterns than they do with the woven ones the patterns that they have are true to size because that's the biggest question that i keep on getting asked about otobri and they're absolutely true to size when i started sewing for my children i was using big four uh, patterns and they came out huge and the big four patterns they were based on age one um, age two age three age four years old and even when I made my kids like a two-year-old outfit, it would be so massive on them. And that was a little bit dissatisfying for me. So that's why I decided to try Autobri because I would read on some forums about Autobri. And when I got it, I tried it out and I was very, very happy and impressed with the fit. So first of all, I had to measure, take their measurements. So that's the chest um and the waist and the height, the height being the most important one. And with my kids, we've got varying height ranges. It's very useful to be able to select the size based on the measurements rather than based on the years because they grow at different rates. The sewing patterns, they come on a pattern sheet and so you have to trace them out. But if you're used to tracing for grown-ups, for adults, tracing for kids sewing patterns is a piece of cake. They're smaller so much quicker to do the sewing patterns do not come with seam allowances they don't have seam allowances you have to add the seam allowances yourself otobri they recommend adding a seven millimeter seam allowance so they use metric like most of the rest of the world they use metric which is quite nice because i grew up on metric i struggle a little bit with imperial but so they use seven millimeter seam allowances uh, that's the ones that they recommend 
the neck band pieces for the t-shirts or anything like that the neck band pieces will always include the seam allowances so whenever you're tracing out a neck band you should know that it's got a seven millimeter seam allowance and if you're not used to sewing with such small seam allowances so for example if you've added your standard um is it five eighths of an inch yeah if you've added your five eighths of an inch seam allowance which is 15 millimeters i think you need to remember to add that to your neck band as well so that you're working with the same seam allowances for your uh, bodice pattern piece and for the neckline so that's just the thing to remember that they include the seam allowances in the neck band pattern pieces but anything else that you have to trace out you have to add your own seam allowances so i like that about that the instructions are outstanding on otobri and they use some really interesting sewing techniques and because of otobri I would say that it really significantly improved my sewing techniques and my sort of repertoire of finishing methods. They've got different ways of doing a neck band to what other uh, places use. They've got different ways of doing elasticated um, hems. So I highly recommend, I can't sing the praises of this magazine well enough. You know, I'm always banging on to anybody who's interested in sewing for their kids to get Otobre that this is the place to start. The size range is extensive. So you're covered from baby all the way up to young teenager, young person. Otobri also do a women's magazine. They only do this twice a year though. They do an autumn, winter and a spring, summer. Doesn't have as many patterns as you get in the kids magazine, but they do some really nice basic uh, staple features. And sometimes they add in some lovely quirks um, and cookie designs. And I've got uh, several of them because uh, I quite like some of the designs I have traced out and sewn out two items which sadly at the time uh, this was back when I was breastfeeding and I had been breastfeeding for a really long time and I didn't have a good idea of what my bust size was and I had selected I think it was bust size 40 which um, to give you a perspective now I'm a 34 inch so I was completely way off and it didn't come out right and that was because I didn't know how to take my measurements properly um, but I do plan on making something out of the Otobri uh, women's, Otobri design women's. So that's the basic recap with Otobri design. Um, kids, you can take out a subscription if you want to, or you can buy single issues on the Otobri design website. Their postage is super quick. I live in the United Kingdom. They post them out from Finland and I normally get them within the week of ordering them. So very, very impressive um, turnaround. Really good quality, sturdy paper. And you can see on the magazine there, it's like really thick and glossy. Even the pattern sheet paper itself is a very strong, good quality. The color saturation of the pattern lines is very strong, which makes it easy to distinguish the pattern lines. So if you start sewing with Otobri, it kind of spoils you for other sewing pattern magazines because they are very good at how they do their layout and how they do the colors to make it so much easier for you to trace them out. So the sizes, they can range from uh, 62 centimeters to 98 centimeters in height. You can grade if you want to, but just be sure you take your child's measurements correctly. Each magazine comes with three pattern sheets, A through to E. That's right, A, B, C, D, E, F. No, A through to F. The pattern sheets themselves are not very wide. That's how wide they are. It's like a poster. If you've ever seen those movie posters, it's just poster size, which makes it very easy to trace out because you can do this on a desk um, or on a table. On to the second part of the video, I'm going to share with you my collection of kids sewing magazines that I have. Um, so this is my entire collection plus this one. So they fit in this IKEA uh, flit magazine, uh, right, magazine uh, collector. And I've got 
As you can see, I've got a label on there that says a Tobri Kids, Birthday Kids, uh, Country Kids, and Be Trendy. So I'm going to start with the one that I only have the one of. I have the uh, Coudre, which is a French uh, kids uh, sewing pattern magazine. I haven't sewn anything from this. I bought this um, because when we were, I think, was it Disneyland? Yes, we are in Disneyland Paris uh, last year or 18 months ago. I walked past the supermarket uh, stand where they had all of these fantastic sewing pattern magazines and I saw this, the cuteness factor of the cover and the curb appeal just grabbed me. I was like, I'm going to get this because I love it. It's got Japanese sewing magazine vibes and I quite like Japanese sewing books. So it's got really this minimalistic look, um, imagery, and it's got these uh, sort of uh, baggy style clothes. <laughs> And it's got the instructions so i quite like this i do need to get sewing with it really quickly though because this goes from age two to age eight and my twins right now are six years old so hopefully i'll be making something out of this soon let me just show you some of the cute things that i like so let's see a cute thing over there the 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 patterns are really adorable they are so adorable and very very quirky so if you do like um, things that are a little bit unique with that Japanese minimalistic feel to them this magazine is definitely one to go for and certainly if you want something that just gives you a lot of sewing inspiration whether you actually sew from it or not this is um, a good one. It also includes picture illustrations for how to sew, as you can see there, picture illustrations. Um, so yeah, so I quite like this. Uh, very pretty to look at. I just need to get sewing with it. So that's Kudre and I have just the one. And the next thing that I have is a Birda Kids magazine. So Birda occasionally will do a special publication. I think it's once a year where they just specialize in a magazine just uh, for kids. I really wanted this because it had some really nice summer tops at the time. I was planning on sewing up some. <laughs> it's coming out because I've already got the pattern sheets out. I was planning on sewing out some summer clothes for my girls. Didn't get round to it though. Although I did loan it to my friend, it is Josie, and she managed to sew something out of it. So with the bird sizing, very much like what it does for the grown-up sizing, it's got size ranges. So it does do the babies and then kind of like the the age nine, uh, sort of like the age nine to fourteens. And also you kind of have to check if you see a pattern that you like, you have to check whether it's going to suit the age of uh, the child that you're going to be sewing for so i only have the one uh Berta kids but they also have uh, kids sewing patterns in the main birder magazine as well the next one is called be trendy which is from made by oranges and they are dutch the issue comes packed with a lot of patterns and in terms of the price point it's the cheapest of the magazines that i have so it's very well priced at five euro 95 uh, compared to seven euro sixty uh, for the birder, and how much was this one? This one was uh, nine euro eighty, but this one is only five euro ninety five. But it comes with the most number of patterns compared to the other ones, and it also has the widest size range um, of them all, and includes just as many patterns for boys as for girls so the other ones they tend to be more patterns for girls for some reason they think that we like to sew for the girls more than the boys <laughs> i have made two items from this and i was quite happy with the fit i thought that they were true to size i didn't like the pattern sheets to be perfectly honest with you because they are you know, i'm just going to show you they're very very thin if you think in terms of pencils like if you use mechanical pencils this is a very very it would be like a 0 0.02 millimeter thick and i'm just going to show you for comparison the difference with say otobri i hope you can see that 
but you can see how these are much thicker and easier to see and these ones are much thinner and the color density isn't quite as strong as what you get on Otobri. So I did struggle more with tracing out of this compared to Otobri. But if you've never used Otobri before and you don't know any better, you would be okay with this. But if we're doing a comparative analysis, then Otobri comes out tops. Um, so that was my uh, biggest problem with this. The instructions on here are relatively decent. They do some translated issues as well. And you can buy these directly from the um, My Image or the Made by Oranges website. I'll put all of the links in the description box down below. They also tend to do a lot of free PDF patterns as well that they send out, especially if you sign up for the newsletter. And they also do a My Image magazine, which is the women's magazine. And I've got about four of My Image magazines. What is unique about this one, though, this particular magazine, is that they do have the option of you being able to go buy the fabric while stocks last. So they sort of like tie in with the fabric manufacturers to make them available to you. But they do have some lovely quirky styles in there um and very very good for sewing inspiration wise so for me a sewing magazine it needs to also be able to inspire me to sew whether or not i end up sewing from it i love it when they make me feel like i want to get up and go sew and i think that this does that even though in terms of the paper quality it's not up there with otobri or with Berda, but this is a good value one and I think that this is a good starter if you're not too sure about whether you want to dip your toes into the world of sewing pattern magazines and you don't want to spend that much money you can always try this out it's got a good size range there's uh, sizes I found them to be true to size on the two dresses that I did make for the girls and I thought that the fit um, was pretty good and pretty spot on and the patterns that they do um, they're right you can easily hack them to make um, different sorts of things so this was a good one finally a Torbri magazine so I've got um, let's see oh, this is where you see the strength of a seamstress how many of her magazines can she hold up I have one two three four five six seven eight I've got eight um, October Design Kids magazines. I've never had a subscription. I tend to just buy single issues as and when I see them and as and when I want them. And over the years, I've accumulated eight. I have sewn from every single one of them. It's almost become my go-to uh, magazine for whenever I'm sewing for the kids. So the oldest one that I have is 6, 2008. October styles are classic and they tend to be timeless. So you walk you should be able to use them for several years at least but it's just i'm a bit of a, a magazine magpie i do like to collect the ones that i uh, really like and i've got the one 2020 which i've sewn from 424 this was the very first one that i ever got and the very first one that i sewed from 325 it's got some really cute patterns. I, I would make every single thing for the girls in here. One 2014, I have sewn the most from this issue because it's got some banging dress and shirt patterns that I've made something like, I think I've made a total of about 14 or 15 items from this one. Autumn issue, which is absolutely gorgeous. Summer, uh, summer 3 2016 issue where I've got some of the recent makes that I have made. So that is my collection of kids sewing pattern magazines. And I'm just going to show you some of the things that I've made from Otobri. So I made some uh, birthday dresses for my girls using one of the patterns in the summer issue. And I added pockets to it because pockets are everything. They're so tiny, but because they're woven, they've grown out of them um, on the chest. They're just too tight on the chest. And I love, I, I put like a bias binding around the armhole. And this is a Liberty Carline um, a poplin fabric. So the plan with these ones actually, oh, this is becoming a sewing plans video, is I'm going to convert this into a skirt. So we're just going to do a band there, an elastic casing, and then we'll just put an elastic and that's going to become a skirt. And I made uh, 
two of them one in a geometric print and the girls got to choose what they wanted and it's got the contrast but it was so adorable i wanted to keep them as they are but i can still salvage them to make skirts that they can wear so this was fantastic i made these for their birthdays and these shirts beautiful shirts that I made I made like four of them uh, for my boys and they've got like a contrasting collar at the back loved this shirt so much the cotton has been washed and washed and washed and we still have the monster print and what I loved about this shirt pattern was that the collar and the collar stand were one pattern piece and when you're sewing for kids you really don't want to be wasting too much time on fiddly detail because they grow out of their clothes so fast and that's one thing i like about otobi they are aware of the fact that you're making these clothes but kids are going to grow out of them really fast and so they try and do their designs so that they're easy to sew up so there we go oh this is so cute and the same shirt pattern so i must have made something like um eight of these shirts and I made them in this like licorice uh, fabric and this every time my kids wore these they would just like get so many compliments They're like where did you get that where did you get that loved that I also made like this little hooded jumper so adorable in this um like bunny bunny fabric and I used the mustard to line the hoodie and they've grown out of it but they're so adorable and then there's this hoodie which I made in a quilted jersey and it's a pink and I used some mustard top stitching um, this one my, my son really loved this and he was gutted when he grew up it's got a pocket over here because pockets are everything and then um, like a sporty top with a panel down the side oh, just bringing back memories from how when they were babies same pattern again but this time with stripes also made them these cute little pinafores this was one of the first things that i ever made for them um out of an autobri magazine and i even sewed up these little snaps down the back and i used bias binding along the neckline and along the armhole and i even did some applique this was my first and only time uh doing applique <laughs> Can you see how this one is the uh, one eyed because the eye fell off and it was always really quite spooky um but yeah i had a i had quite a lot of fun making these uh for the girls these were little pinafore dress dresses and i think there were six months at the time Can you see the eyes fell off um there were six months at the time but they grew out of these so quickly it was gutting which is why i'm still holding on to them even though my girls are now six months old and i've made them like with these cute little velour leggings here that they would wear with these as an outfit they grew out of them so quickly and then i also made for their birthdays i think the third yeah no two yeah no their second birthday that's it these were for their second birthdays and it's just a fabulous pattern it's got raglan sleeves and i used um uh, green and yellow quilted uh, jerseys and you know the, these have been washed so many times but the fabric still maintained its you know in it never bobbled or peeled or anything like that and these were absolutely fabulous and every time we wore these and we'd go for like these toddler groups or these baby groups i'd always get asked oh my gosh where did you buy that did you get that from Bowden? and i'd be like no i made it but i used to be so shy about saying that i actually sewed my own stuff but i love this and i also made them for christmas in a red velour so that's the same pattern but i didn't do the balloon thingy at the bottom and i didn't bother with the pocket and these were what they wore on christmas day for their second birthday so i have a tradition now where i make them birthday dresses and i also make them christmas dresses and it all started with that and we've got that shirt again but this time it was the pink licorice for the girls they grew out of them so quickly <laughs> And then oh this dress pattern love this i've made this particular pattern well 
think I've lost count now. It's definitely more than a dozen. And I also use just the t-shirt pattern, the upper bit itself. You can use just make a t-shirt and I've made like loads of those uh, for my boys. And a cute little sweater from when they were six months old. <laughs> I keep them. <laughs> so yeah, that was a lovely walk down memory lane actually. <laughs> you kind of forget how much uh sewing you do i think sometimes for the kids because it sort of passes through but i'm glad that i've kept some of these so these are just some of the ones that were my absolute favorites other things just you know i donated them to uh, charity shops but i just i loved these ones so much i couldn't uh let them go so wow yeah thank you for giving me an opportunity to have a lovely uh walk down memory lane and just to remember that the kids grow up so fast it kind of feels yeah it's crazy i hope that i've answered your questions that you had about otobri design magazines and i hope that you enjoyed uh looking through my own personal uh sewing magazines for kids patterns and that you enjoyed the comparisons that I made. And then if you found the video useful, entertaining, informative, then do give it a big thumbs up down below. It supports the channel and I appreciate that. If you haven't already, do subscribe. I put out sewing related content like literally every single week or very regularly. And um, until I see you next time, keep safe, stay well and happy sewing. Bye.